hello there. Good morning. Today we are spending our third day in Porto, Portugal. Uh, we are going to be going out, exploring, finding some good food. The food here is really, really good. Having a nice little chill day in the park, maybe seeing a big bridge, seeing what we can find. A lot of uh, when I plan these trips, a lot of what we do is I'll research a lot beforehand on like different things that I'd like to target, maybe good cafes, uh, maybe good spots that I'd like to take photos. At. But then obviously I just kind of ping pong around to get to those places so that you can find things serendipitously. So Let's go I'm basically a food blogger now, you know So we, we got to this garden and Well, we've just got as you can hear why, why did the chicken cross the road? Well, to, to get to some feed. I've never seen chicken in a park, but there we are. What are you doing, Heather? Tasting. Natural vlogger. This is a white pot. It's sweet. The one that we call extra dry white, and some producers make the, the dry white. Mm. We make more more dry, so we say extra dry wine. So this is, like I said before, this is the only pot that we drink like a pretty. Right. I just like that. That's very light. Like. Very nice. A little port tasting today. Nice. Oh, that's good. That tastes more like the port I'm used to. That's very delicious. It's like syrupy almost. I've never had this type of before. I already have ever had like red port. Mm. So it's quite strange. Look, red, red port. 90% of my port, for those, for some reason, audience members who have watched all of my vlogs, would be on Virgin Atlantic flights, where they used to fly me out business for free. It's very, very wild life I had. And they would always finish your, your meal in this class with a glass of port and cheese. Oh, really? Yeah. So like most of my cheese platters I've ever had in my life on a virgin plate, just wow. Oh, you didn't know how you could have it. They used to give you a uh, back in business in there. They give you methyl cutlery. Boom. Luxury. Fifty oil row. Uh, we tried six different ports. Delicious. Uh, very nice little place though. We had some aperitifs, some really fine aged port. Yeah, really nice. Nice time. <sighs> Good relaxing trip. Oh, another fire flower. Well, good morning from our last full day in Porto. We've had a pretty good time uh, getting nice port, getting nice food. Today, we're going to be crossing over the bridge to see what it's like on the other side of the city, as well as we found a specific Akela kombucha tap room. Heather really likes kombucha. So we found a Portuguese brand of kombucha. They have a tap room this way. So uh, we're gonna be exploring the city, seeing if we can get some tasty kombucha. I am overexposed. A couple Ooh. observations from Porto. We're now in an area on the east side, and I would say that buildings like this and a lot of them in this area come off almost like old Wild West buildings, like in the US, like those saloon styles. There's something about the way that they are. Just to me, I could be crazy. You could disagree. At some point, uh, the guy that was giving us a port tasting yesterday explained to us that a lot of the buildings like these that are dilapidated, that are derelict at the moment, they're being bought up by investors for tourism, for alojamiento or alojamiento local, which means like Airbnbs. So uh, basically, it's like a negative in that, while well, they're being bought up by investors, but they're actually beautifying the place, making them usable, and then increasing tourism to the area. So like, honestly, a positive. So it's interesting, a bit more nuanced. Go, 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 go. You always make that face when you don't want to give an opinion on camera. That was nice. Nice and yeah, light. It's very light. Wow, that is fucking good, actually. The smell of the peppermint is so strong. Uh, this place is Aquela Kombucha, which is Portuguese for that kombucha. Like that over there. I've never seen lemons 
this large before. Those are so big. What was the name of that bird that we saw earlier yesterday that I thought was a duck? A goose? Wasn't it like two of them though? Wasn't it like Portuguese? Come on, we're in Porto and there's geese. So one thing you might not know about Porto is they're still worried about invaders. And so to this day, they still have multiple construction men trying to protect their orchards. Those lemon stealing whores and, and oranges, you know, you gotta watch out. So they've got people building, is that, was that too much for you, Heather? Come on, <laughs> gotta protect your orchards. So one thing we've noticed so far is that a lot of the buildings of Porto, no matter what part of the city you're in, or what port you're in, you could say, um, they all have missing roofs, like so many of the buildings. And these are like prime locations along the river next to the big bridge. And there's a lot of construction work, sure. I'm just surprised with what happened to the roofs. So if you're, someone in my audience has some idea, what happened to the roofs? why they sell all the wine right here from the river? Because it has to go through the port authority first, you know? Well, sir. The port authority. Yes, the port wine. And wow. So awesome. I don't quite get it, but uh, Porto is really obsessed with sardines. Obviously there's a historical significance, but the shops here go really hard. It's like a circus. Look at, look, this is all for, this is one of the many stores we've seen all about sardines. And it's getting talked to about settings. <laughs> next stop for our journey to Porto. We've been walking all throughout the city. We walked to the south side, walked in and around. There's a lot of beautiful compositions that we're trying to capture some photos, like leading the roads up and possibly having the gondola in shot. Hopefully it works. Uh, but we've now made it to the Mercado Baira Rio. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, we stopped by a place that specializes in cheese. And Heather and I, she's really enjoying that sandwich right now. We've gotten a wine tasting board here. You might say I haven't introduced you port tasting. Yeah, it tasted good. So we're doing another one. This one comes with uh, different types of cheese, handmade here. So that's quite nice. And a little sandwich. Honestly, quite nice in here. So would recommend. Okay. You might notice sometimes we go to places to get food and I'm like, oh, this is what I'm doing. It's really nice. I don't actually like review the food, but it's usually really nice. This cheese is very good. It's very good to this. So, wow. I was very close to flying the drone today. It's a little bit too windy, and I'm a little bit too anxious to fly the drone sometimes in a city compared to like, if I was in the middle of nowhere, it feels better these days. I'm not the man I used to be, but we're, we're back at the uh, Castro for some pastel de Hata. Mm. Those are the best. Very, very And then I've just got more pastel de Nata. Pastel de Nata? And then I've now made it to the Sao Bento railway station. Uh, this is actually one of the top things to do in Porto, so we decided to go and look at that. Zao Bento is the main train station in Porto, but it's also a UNESCO heritage site for its beauty and historical significance. There are over 20,000 azulejos, the blue and white Portuguese tiles in the station, depicting the history of the city. Even if you aren't coming to Porto by train, it's well worth a visit. Heather and I then continued walking around until we stumbled upon a nice little poetry shop to have a look around in before eating a traditional Porto octopus dish, which was quite nice, and heading back to the hostel for one final sleep. And tomorrow morning we're leaving Porto. Mm. <laughs> well, yeah, it's our final day in Porto. Uh, it is now absolutely downpouring. Uh, we have to go to the airport by, what, 10.30? Um, so our flight's at 12, so... Yeah. Probably 10.30. And Heather wants to get a last minute pastel donata. So I think it's time we just head on out. It's been a nice Airbnb. I would recommend the, the Selena. 
uh, nice vibes in the area. Uh, they did have an advert saying that they're listed on the stock market and they were very excited. So I was curious going, how would that even work? They were, and they left up the poster, but they've been delisted because it doesn't actually make sense to be on the stock market at this type of company. But, you know, <laughs> anyway, uh, let's head and get some pastel donati. So where'd you get the, is that where you got the pastel donatis from? You're a great vlogger. That's where I got the pastel donatis from. Nice. All right, time to head to the airport. <laughs> Found an arcade machine that supposedly does Street Fighter 2, but sadly it's not Super Street Fighter 2. So I've never heard of this character. Heather is doing well. Come on. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Duck and then just keep kicking. That's the, that's the meta. Yeah, just keep... No, the, there you go. He'll block it, but it's really frustrating. <laughs> Stop by Proof Rock Coffee. I've never actually been to Proof Rock. It's something like that. It's a coffee place. They supposedly are some of the best coffees. It's a bit too late for me, so we got decaf. And I've never, ever, ever ordered a decaf. What's the point? 4.30, so. Let's actually point. You didn't make it? I don't want to go back to the airport. Well, bye, Heather. Bye. Well, ha, huh. I am now back home, and boy, I miss home every time I leave it. Nice holiday, really good time. Port is a really nice small city. You can kind of get around and see everything on foot. I usually really like taking public transit when I'm abroad, but I didn't actually take any trains except the one to and from the city. Just because it's like, oh, it's, a, it's like a 25 minute walk, even with hills, as long as you're able, it's enjoyable, you know, a bit more uh, exerting, sure. But yeah, full of pastel donatas, uh, really great time, would recommend. Uh, I feel like there's a, there's probably a lot more to do in Lisbon from my experience, but Porto has a lot more unique stuff that uh, it was worth a visit. Good time. Uh, anyway, hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, I've actually enjoyed vlogging. This was a good day. Uh, I vlogged primarily on um, this camera lens combo and my iPhone. I didn't use anything else and it felt freeing. I just kind of pulled out my phone and went, you know what? I'm just gonna capture a bit of this to bring it back to, you know, what I used to do. She's a bit more hot and fast. Anyway, I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. I am going to play some Hollow Knight at the moment. I just can't seem to beat the final boss, but it's going to take me some time. Uh, anyway, hopefully I'll see you on this channel next time. Goodbye. If you want me to do some sort of more active vlogging in London, tell me. Because I'm thinking about it. It depends. Anyway, goodbye. I did it. What a nice end to a nice day.